Hey guys, what's going on? Max FTE here, and today I'm back with another Pokemon Go video. Today, you are joining us for Ponyta Community Day, Kanto version as well as the Galarian. We are actually dropping into this about an hour into the event. Just because we weren't really that bothered about the event, we've had the catcher going so far. We're up to eight shinies at the moment, two of the Galarian and then six of the Kanto version. And we'll just get a quick, couple quick shiny checks in here. This is probably going to be a sort of more casual, maybe a shorter video, more of a casual community day, just because I've had all these shinies. Oh, speaking of which, there's a shiny, Galarian Ponyta. Had all these shinies before, they've been out for a while. So, not anything I'm particularly too bothered about, as well as the move that it gets not being that great. Maybe find a couple that are decent PvP IVs and just evolve them, and then maybe just be done with it. However, for now, we're taking a lap around the park, seeing how we can get on. We've got a Dynamax Wooloo up ahead, we're going to make our way towards that. However, for our research, we do need to power up Pokemon 10 times. I'm going to power up this Shadow Venusaur that I've been questioning about, PvP IVs. Power that up seven times, that'll finish off our ten times. Then we can jump in here, claim our candy, claim our Pokeballs, claim an encounter with Gala not Galarian, Kanto Ponyta. Kanto Ponyta caught 699, not gonna be that good CP. Then we can also have a look in here. This is probably gonna be a Galarian, 3000 dust, one incense, and another Kanto Ponyta, never mind. 701 CP, also not that great. We'll actually quickly check these ones here. No shiny, no shiny, no shiny, no shiny. As well as for the research, collect MP, oh no, never mind, down here. Transfer 10 Pokemon, catch 50, it is just chaos. There's police sirens going off, there's, oh, honestly, you can hear it probably, but transfer 10 Pokemon, 15 Ponyta, and evolve a Ponyta. I honestly don't know what's going on. Either way, it said that there was two people in the Wooloo. It's down to one now for me. However, we will jump in here. Get an attack bonus of four, so that probably tells me there's gonna be quite a lot of people in this raid, in the actual power spot. 15 people in it. Nice. Jumping into this Dynamax Wooloo here. Charmander and Charizard. I was gonna use my Charizard, but... Oh, here we go, Dynamaxing already. I, I honestly cannot wait for better and bigger raids to come in with this feature, because... Even right now at level 1, it's still pretty cool, still pretty exciting to do, and hopefully that's going to be Wulu going down. Yeah, as I was saying, can't wait for new things to come from this feature, cannot wait. Charlotte actually managed to get a rare candy XL, you can pay 200 coins to get another candy XL. Are you going to do that? No. So let's see, shiny Wulu check in 3, 2, 1, no shinies. 391 CP, Charlotte's is 376. Oh, oh no, I did actually hit. I thought the ball went totally to the side. <laughs> Very windy as well, definitely getting into autumn now. Let's see, one XL candy from that. Mine's is also XL. Gonna be 15, 13, 12. Already got a 96 though. Not too bothered. See, so oh, up to 19 people in that. So let's see, we can see everybody that's in here. It's pretty, it's interesting seeing everybody that's in. It's quite, uh, sort of like a gym for everybody. Obviously with most gyms, you can only put in people of the same team. Whereas here, you know, everybody's allowed in. It's pretty fun. And my game crashed, nice. No wow. shiny. it's terrible. So having a look in here at the research, transfer 10 and evolve with Ponyta. So what we're gonna do is we've got a couple marked out that are actually decent PvP IVs. Rapdash. Rapdash, Rapdash, and we need to find another Kanto Ponyta for Ultra League. However, further now, we're going to evolve Galarian Ponyta for the Ultra League. The move that it is going to be getting is going to be Wild Charge. It, not going to be great for the sort of open metas. Going to be interesting for the Spice Cups in terms of you know where it's the, the where it's the limited metas. As you can see here, though, Fairy Wind and Wild Charge going to be pretty interesting. What we can do now as well, transfer 10. So with 10 transferred, we can claim our pinups, claim our candies, and claim Galarian Ponyta. 720 CP gonna be 93% IVs. And next one as well, probably gonna be another Galarian Ponyta. 
Yep, 96% IV. We'll hold on to that. Three great curveball throws, a 15 ponytail, and a Volve three ponytail. So another thing that I've actually only just noticed is, I'm gonna look in here, Phalanx Raid Day ticket. This was compensation for, I know that the bonuses didn't go after 5 p.m. local time, even though it was advertised that they were supposed to. Those bonuses being, I think it was increased XP from raids, more remote raids that you could do. The basic sort of bonuses you get on a raid day anyway. I didn't actually expect to get this because I didn't do a single raid after the time limit, but two star pieces, really nice, two lucky eggs, really good, and five rare candy XL, which is just amazing, as well as three raid passes, really good considering I didn't even do any raids after the 5pm time, but for now, that's going to be us finished. Yes, yeah, so you can see here. Token of apology for the issues with Phalanx Raid Day bonuses, affected trainers will receive a free timed research containing three premium battle passes, two star pieces, two lucky eggs and five rare XL candies. Now like I say that is quite funny because obviously I did have the Raid Day ticket but I didn't do a single raid after 5pm so I don't know why I've got that. Either way we're not complaining. Oh God. <laughs> so just finished the final stage for the Ponyta research day. Gonna claim 15 great balls if it loads, 50 candy, and an encounter with regular Ponyta. Let's see. Next encounter gonna give us rocket radar, 4,500 dust, as well as a rapidash. And for the final stage of the Ponyta research, an encounter with a Galarian Ponyta, 713 CP, as well as I'm gonna hedge my bets on a Galarian Rapidash. There we go. So let's see, 1048 CP. Gonna be 96%, we'll keep that one. As it does also have wild charge, might be handy for the future. I didn't actually check my other one, so I'll quickly research. Let's see, anything else gonna be any good? Oh yeah, we got the 96 earlier. So what I also want to do is, I've got a couple friendships to go up, if it comes in eventually. I got a hundo. I just want to put that in. <laughs> gonna stick a lucky egg on though. We've got two Dynamax raids, and we're gonna jump into the first one. Charmander here will use 250 MP. So, using our new Dynamax Blastoise up against this little Charmander raid. It's so funny seeing the two of them. I can't see your Charmander though. <laughs> Am I gonna get to a Hydro Pump before? No, I'm not. So can you actually use fast attacks when you're in Dynamax, or can you literally, you can literally only use your power moves. That's strange. Charmander going down, fingers crossed for a shiny. Let's see, I'm gonna put my, I'll put my double into the raid. So Charmander check in three, two, one. No. No shinies. Same CP. Both exact same CP, five, four, two. Charmander finally caught. Let's see, two candy XL. And 12, what was that, 13, 12, 14. Cool. Gonna make our way down to this next Dynamax raid. Jump into our second Dynamax Charmander raid here. Charmander versus Charmander. <laughs> Attacks are boosted by seven Pokemon at the power spot. It's strange that yours is always to the side. I can never see your Charmander. What does that bubble at the side mean? I don't know, I've never seen what that, I, I click it every time and it doesn't seem to do anything, so. Look, you change at the side. Oh yeah. You see that? I think it, I don't know if you'll be able to swap now, but I'm sure you can change as you actually battle, when you're small, if you know what I mean. Two revives as a reward. Let's put our own Charmander in here. So in three, two, one. No. Nope, shinies. So as of now, I think this is going to be us signing off from Galarian Ponyta and regular Ponyta Community Day. We did finish off with, if we come in here, we can go age zero and shiny. Finished with 11 shinies. Not a huge amount, but like I said earlier, didn't actually need any, so it's just fine just to sort of keep things ticking over with shinies, XP, that sort of thing. Annoyingly though, I did open gifts from eight friends and I didn't get the XP for any of them. I didn't get the pop-up. Yeah, so I opened gifts from eight friends earlier and the game crashed as I was finished opening. So I think it just ended up not giving me any of the XP. Whether it's gonna come up later, I don't know. But for now, 
Didn't get any of the XP, which is a bit annoying. Didn't actually get any hundos today. Charlotte managed to get one, which is... Yeah, but I only got six shinies, so... Six shinies. Still better than zero. Did you get all of the ones you needed? I mean, yeah, it was two shinies that I needed, so... Nice. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. If you didn't enjoy, make sure to leave a dislike. Let me know why in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya. Peace. Bye. Bye-bye.